Yeah, headed where the homie live, cause it's on yo. Yeah, I was chasing three women like I'm Mojo Jojo. So my girl got mad and she my bro. Mama, girl, you're wrong, though. That's against a bro code. Headed to his home, though. No, he living solo. Vertebrae, vertebrae. Got this broken to his place. Tonight, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Las Vegas Raiders. And hi again, everyone. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run through at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And it certainly hadn't taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap, and the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, he'll burn you. Right to the air is Carr. A dump off here to Bolden. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. It gets this to Devontae Adams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first and 10, here's Carr. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Hard out of throw. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. 
That one into the hands of Adams downfield. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams, 49 yards. And the Raiders will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive in total, eight plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's a type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw, Pickett. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten. And his defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, Carr. Looking middle, and that's complete. So the completion good for seven there. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Carr looking to throw on third and two. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. It's the pro bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. On second and nine, pick it. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryer move. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Pick it to his tight end, Fryer move for the Steeler first. Harris running straight ahead, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feel pretty good about your next couple of calls. Throwing on third down, here's Pickett. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year, and part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability. 
ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Second down and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. They hand this off to Harris. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Four yards the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. To the air on first down with Pickett. Fighting Harris over the middle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the back out of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover hey we got a bike oh he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there what do we love to say get those backs into space right and they were able to do that there nice pickup on first down six yards on that last play here's second and four pick it he'll look to throw it pick in Another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 18. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And the safety, Trayvon Merrig, up to make the play defensively. To throw on second and six. It. Throwing middle, and it's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Pickett going to keep it himself. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. down before he's brought down at the three. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Toward the back corner of the end zone. Mike Tomlin has reached for that red challenge flag, and he'll throw it out there. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong.
So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Kenny Pickett finding Pat Fryermuth. And the Steelers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Carr. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Now Carr. And the reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Now Carr again. Complete here to the right to Bolden. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. They'll run right here with Jacobs. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Carr to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Carr completes it. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The kick by Carlson is good. And they claim the lead here. It's 10-8. These kickers now used to be that a 50-plus yarder was caught.
cause for celebration now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it? To find out they were all state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. Dancing to his left. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. This is Harris. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Jet sweep, here's Pickens with it. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Pickens throw into the hands of Pickens. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 25-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Now a first down carry for Harris. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now here's another carry for Harris. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Pick it to throw on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Harris. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. James Daniels, the guard, called for the penalty there. Now pick it. He's got this to Pickens. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers are once again back in front. CD for them. 
This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. They'll give it to the fullback up the middle. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time. They failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down to 32. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of position. here on the punt and the Steelers will go on offense here first and ten here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers and running back Najee Harris and it may just be the second quarter but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100 yard mark and when a back has a game as we're witnessing right now his name's going to be in the books but it's really a collective deal isn't it because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking a lot of help from his teammates but he's making the most of it yeah he's made the most of it to this point and that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Harris. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 65 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll run again with Harris. Oh, he's got some breathing room. 
And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Pickett will look to pass it. And that one complete downfield to Johnson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really good pick up of 28 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On the ground, it's Harris. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Kenny Pickett finding Pat Fryermuth. And the Steelers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that makes it a 21-10 game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Raider offense heading back for one final first half drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Now Carr. And he gets it to Bolden. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From the 45 on second down, Carr. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Again, it's Carr. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one from 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one rides up no good. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to. 
as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. 102 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. The last run got six, now second and four. They run again with Harris. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Pickett now to throw off the play fake. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. On second down, this is Harris. And unable to get downhill there, as so he'll take this up to about the 37. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Harris. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Going for it on fourth down. Here's Pickett. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he is going to have the Steelers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here. First and ten. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And some good tackling there is stopped up at about the 41. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. They run with Harris. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Eluding the pressure right. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up. First down at a 21-yard gain. Harris. Is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Najee Harris, well built for work down here near the end zone. That's a nice job there to hold him up. But I doubt we've seen the last of him on this trip.
So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Off play action. Pick it. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Kenny Pickett finding Pat Fryermuth. Take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just passes around they're reading coverages early so now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career how about this one here if they win this ball game a game ball definitely coming from his head coach Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And just a yard to go here on second down. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Boulder. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Carr going to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And able to use a stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good gain. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Carr. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. There's your co-NFL record holder, T.J. Watt, doing what he does best, terrorizing quarterbacks. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist.
So Carr exits on fourth down, and on comes Daniel Carlson for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 39. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So yeah, maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get them back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turn on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. Najee Harris and the Steeler offense set to go to work once again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a bat, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Second down and four. Pick it. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there. As that's batted down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Harris running straight ahead. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And even 150 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. First down and they go back to Harris. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw complete there to Johnson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 45-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw, pick it. He finds his man, Johnson. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 31-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They hand this off to him. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. About three yards there to the 27. They're bringing us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Over the middle complete. That's Johnson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 16. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off a big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Tackle there by Jerry Tillery. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Pickett and the Steelers in need 
receive a big play here. Third and long after the sack. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. Well, you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Carr. He finds Bolden. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Slant to Adams. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously, more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well, and it works for them. Car now on first down. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. The car is so complete here to Waller. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw, it's Carr. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 27-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Again, they'll throw with Carr. That's going to be caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does gain of 25 yards a three score game here late you can probably rule out the comeback but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad that was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Jacobs is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty his desire to take this running back out of his game and all that pregame wolfing has turned into results
The Steeler defense proving its mettle here. And now this is third and goal. Throwing now is Carr. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Carlson able to put this one through. That'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Oh. And into the end zone. Yeah. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Jalen Warren, 69 yards. And the Steelers have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. Looking for Bolden, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to take possession of the football. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation points, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody I, knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Pick it back to throw. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Merrig. And the Raiders are going to get the football back at their own 17. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Carr again here on second and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing his car on third down. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It's a game. 
six as they pick up the first down of the process. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Meanwhile, Carr's throw complete to Hollins. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Working with a second and four. From midfield, here's Carr. A dump off here to Bolden. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. The Raiders on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Carr to throw again. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the gun, it's Carr. Back to Renfro again, complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 22-yard line. Card out of throw. He's got Cole on the slant. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now Carr. That's complete to Bolden. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. This to Jacobs on the toss right. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. To throw his car. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Now Carr. Got to have this one. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Steelers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there, and he winds up giving the ball away. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. 87 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. On second down, it's Warren, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On 
On third down, Warren. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score depth. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. That one looks like he'll throw here. And the catch made by Johnson. And he's going to have another first out as the tackle comes at the Raiders 42. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Warren, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. But that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Throw complete. Pick it to Johnson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 22-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 and a Pittsburgh first. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now a handoff up the middle. Warren. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Five yards, now it's third and five. He's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Ball at a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. down as he gets it to the eight. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I think they might have something in this young rookie quarterback because he certainly looked the part. I have to ask you a question. Are you thinking similar to what I'm thinking? That these rookie quarterbacks, they come in more prepared than ever before. Year after year, they just seem more comfortable from day one. I think you start really young now. These quarterback coaches, they play against a better competition. They go to camps across the country. Then they play big-time games in college. So when they get to the NFL, it's not quite the same, how would you say it, pressure that they felt in years past. And these kids just go out and perform. And keep in mind, he led them to a road victory here. Even more impressive. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.